So it's all around your family. It's all in your space. It's all your atmosphere. And yeah. then at this point, you're in high school. Wait, hold on. Did you leave? Did you graduate? Did you- so I went. So, so yeah, go ahead. Talk about it. So I went to Atlanta after my freshman year. Yeah. So when I went to Atlanta, that's when I started trying to like go to the studio. Uh-huh. So when I first got my equipment was when I was with, well, yeah, my uncle Justin had came over to my house. He you got stays, a lot of uncles. <laughs> he stays by my grandpa. Okay. In Cali- my grandpa lives in California, the one that's from Motown. Mm-hmm. And my grandpa... They had like a computer, like a MacBook computer and an interface and a microphone that I could use. Mm-hmm. So he came over and he brought it over. And I now I, I record on that. So it's been handed but, down. Yeah. But at first. I at first I only had the computer like I had I was using a, um, a like a Windows computer on FL. Yeah. Yeah, and then, but I had bought that. I, like, I had bought all that stuff on Amazon, like my first mic and stuff. It was like $200 for the whole thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then I lost my mic, and I had to record on my mom's karaoke machine microphone. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Not that your mom had a karaoke machine. Let's talk about that. Was she singing around the house, too? Um, My family, like, when we all get together. Yeah. Like, if it's someone's birthday or anniversary or anything like that, we do, um, we do karaoke, like, just randomly and that's all thing there. yeah like we just do karaoke i love that yeah oh so that's how you bond with your family through music yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay um square one square, <clears throat> square one of all right so your first so what's the first time what was your first actual like recording session for a song that you dropped for a song that i dropped oh well Okay, so the first song I really dropped was an R&B song, mm-hmm. and I made it. This is when I didn't have a setup. I went to like two hours away in a different part of Georgia because mm-hmm. um, I wasn't going to a school anymore. I went to a different school. Like, okay, so I was in high school with this dude, mm-hmm. um, and he was one of my friends, and he had a studio at his house. And he would, he kept saying like every day, yo, every time we're at lunch, yo, let's make some songs. Like you should come record. Da, da, da. And I kept telling him, yeah, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. Never went. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so then when I transferred schools and I didn't like, I was like, crap, I want to record. I was yeah, like, let me, hit, the, let me like, hit him up. Yeah, yeah, I was like, let me just hit him up. So, <laughs> so I went to his house and it was, his studio was not that, it wasn't, that good but it was good enough for like where i wanted to start yeah but i was also i was trying so i was trying to i was trying to rap and sing like pnb rock ah because like i was doing i would have loved you to be on that project that he had called soundcloud days yeah there are no females on there (laughs) women but um yeah yeah but that that was like my first song it was I actually have it if you want to hear it. Yeah, I would love to you hear, hear it. You want to hear it? Yeah, well, not right now, but you okay. should put it. You should put it on. Um, it's, it's on. It's on SoundCloud. Yeah, it's just private. Yeah. I have oh, a lot of is. old songs on there. They're just. Private. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> well, there, okay. we can make a moment around that another time. Okay. Um. Anyways, okay. So that one was at the dude's house when he was like, "God, let me just go ahead and hit him right. up because now I really actually do want to record, but like I'm not even there yet anymore." Yeah. All right. So then you did that, and then you dropped the song. Then I dropped the song and. I didn't have no fan base, none of that. So yeah. like, it was, you didn't was, have anything. Yeah. So I was just sending the link to the song to everybody in my contacts, everybody that I follow on Instagram. Oh, you was that you was sending me. the text yes, chain. Yeah, I was just like link, was, link, 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 link. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> listen to my chat. Listen and to I my chat. And I was track. like, I don't even care. You was if, handing out CDs on the corner. Right. Basically. I was like, I don't even care if they don't even. Like, I know that somebody, if even if they don't want to listen to it, they're going to click it eventually and be like, let me see what this girl, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think I got, like, what, 3K plays on it. Nice. Yeah. For, for, for organic word of mouth marketing, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. You did good with that one. All right. So then that one was called what? What was it called? <sighs> the song was called, I honestly can't even remember. 
Okay, don't worry it's about it. It's been so long. We'll look. We'll look up. We'll look it up on SoundCloud. Okay. Um, I want to talk about when you started to get into more of like your social media, um, or started to market yourself on social media because it's worked well for you. And I remember, yeah. I don't know if I talked to you about this or whoever it was, but I remember you saying like, I just like I don't necessarily have like a plan or a marketing strategy around certain things. Sometimes I just get out there and like let the let people feel the music and then kind of yeah. tease it around until I drop it. But like. When did you first decide, you know what, let me go see how people feel about this track or let me go make a trailer to it or whatever these trailers that you do, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what, what was the first track that you teased on trailer? The first song, trailer, I remember was Function. I don't think it was oh, the I first. I heard that one. The, I don't think it was the first one, but that's the one I remember like being like the first, you that's know. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah, what I mean. So, yeah, it was Function and I was at a hotel in a bathroom, you know, just vibing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was the first song I did in Triller. And then what what got me to like wanting to post Trillers and, you know, trying to reach out to my fan base was because of Hey, when it blew up on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And I, at first I had like 4,000 followers when that song went up. So then like I kept posting about it, posting about it. It was getting more traction. Then I did Doubted, mm -hmm. which Tana mixed that whole EP for me. He did. Yeah. Shout out to Tana. We're going to go to the show later. <laughs> yeah. But so then I posted Doubted on TikTok yeah. and then Doubted was getting going up. It had like 300K yeah. views on a video. And then I got like 10,000 followers and then I just kept posting trailers to my unreleased and just trying to get people to, you know, vibe and hear my music. So, yeah. Yeah. How, um, how did, well, not how did, but like, why did you lean on Triller at specifically to be like the outlet that you expressed yourself on with and showed people and performed your music to, to the world on? Honestly, if I'm being honest, yeah. I just seen other rappers use Triller and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to just use Triller. Okay. And it yeah. worked out. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not TikTok, but it's like, I, what's the difference between Triller and TikTok from okay, your point let POV? Me tell you. I need, so Triller. I need to know. Triller is like, Triller, I feel like you, you won't have a fan base on there unless you have a fan base on other platforms mm. because they go to your Triller. Mm -hmm. Unless you like already have a name, then your trailer will be easy to find and you mm -hmm. probably will have followers on there. But if you're like trying to up, be upcoming, you won't like have nobody on there. So you already had following. You already had people that wanted to like know more about who you are and your music and stuff. Well, yeah, from Instagram. From Instagram. And that's how they go. They find my trailer. Right. Yeah. And then you would post it. You post your trailers on your IG too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And TikTok's different. Which one's your favorite? TikTok. Yeah. Well, hold on. Triller, TikTok, whoever want to work with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. It's fine. No, it's fine. No, regardless, <laughs> the money talks. 